The 2023 World's Strongest Man is over and what a contest it was. But as always, after a big contest, Auntie Liz has got her stats out and she's put together 22 amazing facts about the World's Strongest Man. Auntie Liz, why only 22? Because I couldn't think of a 23rd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys watching, put your own one in the, the comments below. Yes, Let us know do. any other facts that you come up with. But let's take a look at what Auntie Liz has got for us. So this year, Mitch Hooper became the first athlete to win four events in a six event World's Strongest Man final. So of course, when they first started, there were no heats and finals. But then when they introduced the heats, they had much longer final formats still, didn't they? They did indeed. I mean, when you go back to the original World's Strongest Man, it was just a 10 event final. Then World's Strongest Man has done a variety of uh, event numbers from eight down to Five, I think. Five in 2019 final, that's yeah, right, yeah. But, but for the last, since about 2010, it tends to have been six events in the final. Mm -hmm. For the 11th straight year, we had three different nations represented on the podium at World's Strongest Man. Obviously, Canada, the UK, and Ukraine. So in the bus pool this year, we had two athletes tie for second place on a timed event. It was Tom Stockman and Evan Singleton, both finishing in 32.27 seconds. But this is not the first time we have had a tie on a timed event at the World's Strongest Man. And the last time was in 2009, when Travis Altmaier and Brian Shaw tied on the plane pool. Yeah, it's not something we see very often, but no. we did find out, there's actually a few people on our live pointed us in the direction of this one. Back in 2009, we had two guys tying on a plane pull as well. Crazy. This year's final was the first time we've seen two athletes from the nation of Ukraine represented in the final, being Alexei Novikov and Pavlo Kordiak. And when you think how many talented Ukrainian athletes are out there, we may see more in the future. And also, it's the first time we've seen a representation from New Zealand in Matthew Rag, the first time they've been represented in the final of Worlds as well. This was the ninth attempt at a three-peat in World's Strongest Man history, and for the fifth consecutive time, it did not result in success. So Pudzianowski tried for it in 2004, Pudzianowski had tried for it again in 2009, Zadronis was going for the three-peat in 2011, Brian Shaw was going for it in 2017, and of course, Tom Stoltman was trying for it in 2023. So we are still only having two athletes that have done three in a row, Magnus Ver Magnussen and obviously Bill Kazmaier. Mm -hmm. So since 2017, the USA have had three athletes in every single final. This year's athletes, obviously, the great Brian Shaw, Trey Mitchell, and Evan Singleton. This is Canada's first ever victory at the World's Strongest Man, and Canada now becomes the 13th country with a World's Strongest Man champion. The other 12 countries are the USA, England, Iceland, the Netherlands, Wales, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Poland, Ukraine, Lithuania, Scotland, and now of course Canada is the 13th. Mitch Hooper becomes the eighth youngest winner ever of the World's Strongest Man out of the 24 athletes that have won the title. Currently the youngest ever to win still is Jean-Paul Sigmundson. To every athlete this year who was in second place was able to retain their advantage in the stone-off. And since they've used this exact stone-off format since 2021, of the 15 athletes that have done the stone-off, 13 who were in second place have made it through to the final. The only two exceptions were both last year, and it was Kevin Ferris and Bobby Thompson who were both in second place in their groups, but then ultimately lost out on the stone-off. While four event wins in a final is an incredible feat, the absolute most dominant performance ever at World's Strongest Man was 2003 by Marius Pudzianowski. He came away with an incredible 66 out of 70 possible points, which is 94.3%. Since his debut international performance at last year's World's Strongest Man, this year's champion, Mitch Hooper, has podiumed at every international competition he's done, which is 90% of international competitions, and he has won five of them, or 50%. Yeah, 10 international shows he's done, he's won five, he's only been off the podium once. This year's stone-off between Brian Shaw and Rauno Hainer resulted in 11 reps by each athlete, the most we've ever seen on the stone-off at World's Strongest Man. And of course, we've seen other 
stone off types of format like the last man standing in 2019 but that was with a lighter stone and it was just one yeah stone and we've got Belsack back when they first started which was lighter yeah. again but he ended up doing 22 but for exactly. the 200 kilo stone that they finish off on the stones right now 11 reps between both of them was incredible and in his final World's Strongest Man appearance, this year Brian Shaw qualified for his 15th consecutive final, which is the most out of anyone ever. One record he couldn't break, which he's already a joint record holder. It would have been nice to get it on his own, mm. but he still ties with Zadrunas in the most podiums ever at World's Strongest Man. It would be amazing to see him finish his career on that podium, but he's still at the top of that list, however tied with Zadrunas Saviskas. This year, Mark Felix took Odd Halpern's record for the oldest man ever to compete at the World's Strongest Man. The day the group stage is finished, he was 57 years and two days old. Mark Felix also broke the record for the most appearances at World's Strongest Man just so happened to be his own record anyway but this was his 18th appearance at the show this is without question a record i don't think we will ever see broken i don't think so Jakob Skumvinkel and Matt Rag both qualified for the final this year in their rookie year at the World's Strongest Man. But this isn't the first time this has happened. It also happened last year when Mitch Hooper and Gabriel Raum made the final in their debut appearance. Before that, you have to go back to 2016 and there we saw three incredible debut performances with Martins Lissis, Mateusz Kieliszkowski and Konstantin Janasza all making the final. What a breakout year 2016 was. Yeah, that was a hell of a year with some amazing athletes coming through. Tom Stoltman has been in the top two at World's Strongest Man for the last four years in a row with a second, a first, a first and a second, which is an unbelievable streak. But the longest streak ever for top two performances is by Zadrunas Zaviskas. From 2009 to 2015, he was always in the top two at World's Strongest Man. Tom Stoltman could go on to break that record. He's on four and it's still going. It'll be mm. interesting to see how he does next year with this kind of file it under him. Yeah. I think he's going to come back motivated. I think so too. And seven doesn't seem like light years away, does it? Mm. By winning a few events in the heat stages this year, Brian Shaw has extended his own world record for the most event wins at the World's Strongest Man, which now sits at 62 events. Now to put this into context, out of all of the men who still compete at the World's Strongest Man, the closest to him is Tom Stockman with 18 event wins, which is still very far away. It's amazing, 18 yeah. wins at World's Strongest Man, but 62 event 62. wins. What's the second most out of anyone. It's Adrenus with 54. Which is unbelievable, but Brian on 62, absolutely out of this world. And um, with, you know, guys like Tom, Mitch, in fact, the whole top five at World's Strongest Man, I believe, are 30 or under. Yeah, they are. They're young. There's lots of time for them to catch up, yep. but so much competition as well. We're in an exciting period of Strongman. You know, the top five at Worlds, all 30 or below. Mm -hmm. Lots of great athletes coming up as well. The, the, the competitions ahead of us are getting exciting. Another interesting fact this year is that Mitch Hooper won with 53 and a half points, which just so happens to be the exact same points that Tom Stoltman won with last year. And then finally, the first event in the finals this year was the shield carry. And with the exception of Brian and Luke, who were the wrong way around, I guess, the order that everyone finished in the shield carry is the order that they finished the overall competition in the final. How odd is that? That is interesting. Hmm. So there you have it guys, 22 facts about this year's World's Strongest Man. If you guys have your own facts, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank Auntie Liz for letting us see her stats and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care.